Good afternoon, Lace Jumpin' I'm John, this is many a true daughter. Welcome back to Fallout 4. Where last time, we came to the Pridwin and got our hands on two very important items. Number one, the Vertebird Signal Grenade. So, now I can start moving between my various towns way more easily. And number two, way more importantly, I've got a photo of Elder Maxon, which means if I just nip back to my personal tailor over in Concord, I get to wear his wonderful jacket. So, okay, that's my main objective today. But before we do that, as I am literally right by the sea, this would be an excellent opportunity to nip down to Spectacle Island and grab the Luck Bobblehead. So, good chance I might get ill, but I am swimming in antibiotics, so that will not be a problem. And also, apparently, as per usual, I've forgotten to level up. Honestly, I would not mind a rank of Scrounger. Like, for so long, I just ignored this perk, paid no attention to it. But having, like, you know, giant piles of ammunition in all sorts of containers all the time, this is really bloody good. Just a single rank of this is lovely. Okay, into the ocean we go. Should be nothing dangerous in here. The ocean is absolutely fine, though... I'm going to be honest, I can't like entirely for certain remember what the rules are for the Myalurks on Spectacle Island. Because, uh, yes, until like, you know, uh, you start powering up the island, uh, like loads of them don't wake up. But some of them might be awake already, I genuinely can't remember. So okay, this is going to be interesting. Okay, we've almost made a landfall, and better and better, as yet I'm not ill. Though, yes, all this swimming has massively increased the chance that the next time I decide to go to sleep, yeah, there's a good chance we're going to be getting ill at that point. So, just... Never mind, I can't figure out how to get up there, but there we go. We've made it to Spectacle Island, and... Uh, for the time being, at least, it looks, you know, pretty chill. Brackets are calm. That's a good sign I'm at least mostly alone. Though, uh, okay. I think, yeah, it's just dead people. Because, yeah, they were like, you know, uh, trying to set up here. But then the Myloaks got them. But the Myloaks are not around unless you try and, you know, uh, make Spectacle Island your settlement too, though. Okay, one. The brackets just shuffled. And two. I mean, I kind of like the idea of, you know, owning Spectacle Island. Like it's cooking a huge, this could be one, a hell of a town. Okay, just to confirm a hangabout, we've definitely got a handful of, you know, actual nasty bastards here. Okay, some of you need to just, you know, chill out and then die. So, okay, you're soft shell. Definitely just saw a hangabout. Where's the hunter? I see a buddy and... Oh, that didn't do as much damage as I was hoping it would. But that's... That's fine. Okay, he's broken my arm. But that's... That's all I... Okay, everything's... Uh, everything's fine. I'm now in danger. Danger from who? I'm not sure, but not you, and that's put me into caution, so that's good news. Uh, right, I see you over there. You're just a basic. Hand for more basics, too. Uh, no idea what throwable I've got set. Hope it's something good. Turned out to be something pretty good. Right, you are now dead. And you're going to be dead momentarily, too. Excuse me. Just stay down. That is not a strong enough gun. Okay, that's fine. Uh, for some reason, you can't move. No, seriously, what's, what's going on? Are you hidden behind, like, a different Myloke or something? Hello, buddy. You okay? Well, he's dead now, so it's fine. Okay, we got a handful more. Oh, dear. You could be, um, you could be more trouble, Ash. No, 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 not. Oh, this, this could be. This could be fine. This, this is fine. This is why we make Psycho Jet, John. This is why we make Psycho Jet. It's all gonna be fine. Just stick drugs into your... Oh, we are running low on drugs already. I should have made more Psycho Jets. Out we go, Mr. Shotgun. No, you don't. And you have... Oh, cock, cock, cock. That's bad even by the standards of Psycho Jet. Okay, you also need to... Oh, that's... That's significantly... No, 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 we need... We need more drugs. Like, like, more drugs. Am I still addicted to this, by the way? 
No, I got rid of my addiction previously by speaking to the doctor on the printer winner. We may need to speak to him again in a second. I'm not sure. <sighs> Everything's going to be fine. You just stay the cock down. Okay, if I could take out kings and legendaries, I think with Psycho Jet, we could take down a queen. But seriously, I would like to find Quick Draw Fat Man plus three mini nukes. That's so dumb yet so perfect. Okay, you just stay there for a second. I need to go and like, you know, dump some of my other weapons into a box back at the house like over there. So I can like, you know, actually carry this thing. Okay, now that should be, yes, plenty of spare weight capacity just in case. Dump some of these two. For, yes, the Fat Man launcher and also several mini nukes. Also, I completely forgot how much, um, yes, mini nukes cost in terms of weight. So... Okay, this is fine, because Grilled Radstag can get my carry weight up and it lasts for a bloody long time. So okay, put that in play. Okay, now we've got mini nukes. Okay, just noticed by the way, I'm kind of running like, you know, a really low on armor, shotgun ammo. That could be a problem. So okay, it's been so long since I bothered, you know, setting up Spectacle Island. So alright, hang on. Check the, yes, note. Right here. So, yes indeed, a wise to the generator. But which do we have to do in the right order? Yes, go down to the boat, turn the generator switch, and then come up here in order to flick this thing on. Signal playing, everything dies. Could I just swim out once I've turned the thing on? Come up here the long way, turn it on to kill the queen. I have no idea, I cannot remember. Okay, the boat. So uh, we got ourselves a yes. I see you right there, buddy. I see you. Let's just, you know, get you up before there's much more trouble here. 75% in the torso. Down you go. We're just as many as we can deal with before, like, you know, uh, the big problems begin. That's, that's all for the better, damn it. So, okay. Step one. Yeah, we got a nice chest here. Some random loot. Shotgun shells. I might need those in a second. Brilliant. Step two. The luck bobblehead. The entire reason I bloody came here. And finally, step three. The bit I'm going to really, really, really cocking regret. So, okay. Crack you open. And in just a second. Okay, I see you, and more importantly, okay, buddy, how about we have ourselves a one new right in the face, beautiful, and we're not done yet, by the way, just re- Okay, get out the way, 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 and... Where did the queen go? Okay, I'm, I'm mildly concerned by the fact I've somehow lost a gigantic queen. And also, I'm hearing a lot of, you know, wibbling. To my left, I think. You're going to be... Okay, they've, they've somehow lost me. But I've done a lot. And I mean a lot. Of, oh, cock me, I don't appreciate this. No, 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 no. Okay, that's, that's poison. Poison is nasty. Okay, that's, that's nasty and I was expecting it to be actually. Okay, that's fine. Just heal. We can drink water later. We need to hit it with another nuke. Like, that's blatantly the answer. If I stay in the boat, she's going to struggle to, yeah, get the poison on me. That acid spit is a nightmare. Now, did I kill, yes, the, um, the other one also, John? Tag her. Okay, she's around here somewhere. And if we can... There we go, we got attacked. Now we know where she is. Question is, where are the others? Is the hunter dead? Ocean. The splash from the nuke could have killed the hunter. 
I would know if I'd been paying attention because the XP would be on screen in the event the hunter died. Okay. Got no crit, but I do have, you know, enough action points. So in which case, just back over to you. The nice thing is it does need to be a direct hit. And oh, no, no, I saw other movement. He's, he's out there. You know what? I want to tag him too. Hey, buddy. I just saw you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're there. Oh, you've got crippled limbs, though. You have got crippled limbs. Okay. You are around. There's... There's something else here. That just sounded like something that was in the ocean. They're in the ocean now, and I don't like it. Bare minimum. They're tagged, and you are moving away. And you, buddy, are you kind of standing nearby to each other right now? I think you might be. And... Okay, the chance of hitting you is pretty low, but then again, it doesn't need to be. Even if I miss. I mean, the splash damage should do the job anyway, right? Just, you know, that looks close enough to my mind. Oh, that is definitely at least one kill. Did I get your friends? I didn't, and also I could have... Oh, hang on. There's noise here. There's noise that's not you. It's too close. So just take you out. That was a sneak attack, apparently. No. Just please don't spit at me. Please don't spit at me. Oh, yeah. Something else is here. But I don't know if it knows how to get at me. And also, I don't know what it cooking is. The point is, uh, the queen is dead. Do not fluff up now, John. That would be really cooking embarrassing. Okay. Whatever's left, the better option right now would be, yes, turn on the machine to kill anything else. Just hand myself to a few bits and pieces. Pretty bad haul off the queen there, dear oh flippin' dear. Right, just, just go. There we go. Big thing, and in just a second, you should all explode, right? Please explode. Please just explode. I mean, I'm hearing noises. I cannot remember how this goes. They don't feel as dead as I would like them to be. I would like them to be deader. Wait, does this just make them, like, you know, chill? Was that what it did? Honestly, it's been so long since I've done Spectacle Islands. You know what? I don't care. You know what my priority is right now? Number one, have a nice drink because, yes, there's just a water pump here already. Number two, a return to this lovely, lovely spot here to reclaim all my guns, or at least, like, you know, as many as I can take with me. Some of these I don't need anymore, I don't think. Hang on, I might still want to strip parts off of you. And number three, get the conk out of here. But seriously, this could be... I mean, this could be a re ridiculously huge settlement. Like, I had not even thought about this until literally right now, but... I mean, it's the whole island. And also, you know, a whole bunch of stuff on water, which, as we've established, can, you know, generate really interesting piers and whatnot. Like, I could build my own piers in this bit of the world. So... Oh, well, this could be really rather exciting, actually. I mean, the marina is always going to be my spiritual home, but... Eventually, I'm going to need something, you know, bigger, like a gigantic city to live on, and, uh, oh, this could be it. Right, we'll be coming back here later. For the time being, though, okay, just get the Brotherhood to, uh, yes, karma to where I want them to be, and then carry me where I want to go. Okay, step one, let's go back to Sanctuary, because, yes, indeed, there's a couple of things I need to turn in there, and on top of that... I feel like, yes, now that I've got the Vitamatic, this society could be arranged a lot more sensibly. Okay, apparently we've got, um, yes, a disease outbreak. So, uh, infected settlers may be less efficient at their jobs and also may spread the disease to others. Diseases last just a few days if milder, but more severe diseases may last weeks if left untreated. And the extremely severe may even kill over time. Right. By any chance, do I need to maybe recruit, like, you know, one of those uh, nightingales or something? Because they were definitely travelling doctors uh, introduced by this mod. Maybe in the long term, but for now, okay, just give disease cures to people who are sick and that'll sort it out. Though, uh, 
I mean, I'm going to be honest, if this is happening in Sanctuary, I kind of don't care. Like, Sanctuary is a backwards to me right now, alright? The marina is way more exciting and well put together. And Spectacol Island is going to be a cocky, bustling island metropolis once it gets going. And here we go, back in Sanctuary for the first time in a cocking while. So, okay. Thank you so much for the lift. That was delightful. We've got ourselves, yes, Trash, Can, Carla, Codsworth, all the rest of it. So, okay. Apparently, you guys are like, you know, chill and happy and generally having a good time right now. Happiness at 84. Pretty bloody good, all things considered. Now, has anyone like, you know, built anything fancy while I've been away? Okay, the buildings to me are looking, yes, much of a muchness. But I swear I just saw, yes, appearing in the subtitles a second ago... Someone called uh, Archon. Okay, that's new. Hang on. Ring the bell. Everybody gather round, please. And while we're gathering, Preston, I must have at least one mission to turn into you. We've gotten big enough that we're having trouble communicating with all our settlements. It's a good problem to have, and I have a solution. I think it's time to retake the castle. It used to be the Men and Men HQ, way before my time. Well fortified centrally located, and most important, it has a powerful radio transmitter we can use to broadcast to the whole commonwealth. Okay, two bits of good news. So yes, one, I just got Idio Savant on quest completion, which is brilliant, and two, apparently we've already got enough going on to retake the castle. So, you know what? Why not? It's another good settlement that's pretty damn big in size. Okay, that begins taking independence. He's gonna go take care of that nonsense. Beautiful. So... Right. Where are these, like, you know, new, exciting, sexy people we just heard about a second ago? Look at this sorry piece of shit. You're supposed to be in charge of the Minutemen here. See, people tell me that I'm like, who the fuck is this wimp? Okay, hang on. Hang on, hang on, hang on. I was just looking for someone called Arncom, but, um, someone's just come up to me and they are looking, I mean, to be honest, like, very raidery. Like, if I had to describe a raider to you, I would describe uh, something of this nature. So, okay, buddy, who the cock are you, and what are you doing in my town? I came here to challenge your pathetic leadership, to tear apart the feeble loincloth of your so-called authority. I came, one might say, to conquer. I hereby invoke the ancient rite of Fisty Punchy. I, Sneak, first exiled of my tribe, cast out for being too good at killing, known henceforth as the Kill Stealer, and the mere mention of whose true name is punishable by eye licking, challenge you to a fist fight. You against me, one on one. No weapons allowed. Okay, if it- Oh, oh, hang on, hang on, no, 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 wait, what the cock is going on here? Okay, he just said uh, no weapons. He said nothing about no drugs. So, uh, okay, I'm addicted again. That's fine, we kind of knew that was likely. Okay, buddy, just get ourselves in a couple of uh, punches. There we go. Oh, yeah, I am fast enough to just get around you. That's right, if I've got AP, I should be using it, by the way. Okay, this is going well. Also, I can use medicine if need be. So this here, this is good. This is a good starting point. Okay, just get over to here. Get over to here. He's, uh, I mean, he's pretty tough. But I feel like, actually, even without using, like, you know, buff out and whatnot, we've got this guy. Who the cock are you, by the way? Right, straight back over to more lovely, lovely vatsing, because, oh, the camera is not happy with me, but that's all absolutely fine. Also, we've got another spaceman here, so that's exciting. Yeah, that's right, I've got psychic punches, you stupid bastard. What are you going to do about that? Do you want to give up, buddy? This is like your last chance to give up because you are almost cocking dead. Okay, this is... Never mind. You know what? You're going down at this point. What? You beat me? How? Oh. He was a visitor, but now he's not. Now I've kicked his ass. He's actually willing to, you know, work for me. Okay. 
you stay here for the time being, buddy, because I'm assuming you're like, you know, really bloody... Interesting. That's, that's fascinating. Well, one, the moment I did that, whole bunch of... Uh, okay, everything's happening at once. So, uh, we've got ourselves, yes, like, you know, uh, upgrades. Also, uh, new, like, plot type. Everybody started improving all their buildings. Uh, and there we go. That completed. You're pretty good. And uh, now this is different. This used to just be, like, you know, uh, a pile of junk. Now it's a pile of junk inside a shack. Which is, like, you know, better. I suppose. Hang about. I swear I just saw. Okay. So it turns out Archon is another ghoul in another spacesuit. It's just a thing that's apparently happened more than once, which is downright bizarre. Pleased to make your acquaintance. Nice to meet someone that doesn't shoot or prey on sight. The name's Ron Archer. Or Archon now, I suppose. Is there some kind of problem? Kind of. Actually, could you do me a favor? I was pulled out of the ruins of my old lab by some sort of religious cult, the Children of Atom. They seem to have decided I'm a saint or something. I try to reason with them, but they just ignore anything that doesn't fit their beliefs. I realize it's a, a bit of an imposition, but do you think you could get them to stop following me everywhere? Okay, now that's cocky adorable. So, uh, I assume, like, you know... Uh, if you weren't wearing that suit, you'd be, like, a glowing one. So the children of Atom worship you, and Archon, like, you know, ancient Greek word for leader or whatnot. Oh, well, that's just cocking adorable. Sure, point me in the right direction. We can take care of this. Shouldn't be a problem. Just tell me where they are. They should be somewhere nearby. They know I get upset if they come too close, but that doesn't count for much. Okay, so yes, by the sounds of it, various uh, visitors and guests and whatnot, they like, you know, give you tiny missions, uh, and if you do them, they're willing to stay in your society as an actual named settler who's got like, you know, really good skills and whatnot. So, uh, okay, that's pretty cool. Hello there. Heard about this place, so I, I came to see. Looks interesting. Okay, and one more as well. We've got Mr. Silas Canary. Sorry, who are you? Let me introduce myself. My name's Silas Canary. I used to have a farm and a family. Now I have the shotgun. Now I shoot raiders. I would like to have a farm again. Okay, I mean, you say this, but, um, you were just sitting in a bar when a raider came up to me and started beating me up, and you did cocking nothing, buddy, so, okay, what do you need me to do, assuming you don't just want to, like, you know, be assigned to a farm, which I can absolutely do if you're a good farmer. There's more to this story. There ain't. Okay, if there is more, he doesn't want to talk about it. Anything I can do to help? Just need some fertilizer. Three bags will do. Okay, sheer coincidence, I'm pretty sure I'm carrying a one right now, like, on my person. Oh, and here's a bloody nice coincidence, Carl has got the other toe. Here it is. Thank you again. Nothing can replace what I lost. But this farm, it's a chance to begin again. I'm a man of few words, forgive me. But no, I'm in your debt. I'll watch over mine and yours best I can. You, buddy, seem like, you know, you're a bit of a badass. Report to the marina. You can, like, you know, work there from now on. Hang on, buddy. Before you go, just give you a quick shoot with my gun and... Uh, okay. Endurance, as you'd expect, and agility, too. You, buddy, could be a very, very good farmer or a pretty damn decent doorman, too. As for, yes, the random unnamed people, right, we need to get you guys assigned better, because you, buddy, you should not be a teardown expert. You'd be better as a farmer. Here we go, this plot here is only making six. That is nothing. And straight up to eleven. Better and better. Though, thankfully, old Paul, by sheer coincidence, has ended up in a good job for him, because, yes, he's in teardown, and tear down is precisely what he's good at because he's strong and beautiful and uh, that does remind me. I swear the comment said I was supposed to, yes, have a nice chat to old Paul at some point. If you got a minute, would you mind checking on my old buddy Amos? He lives in a shack not far from here. 
and I haven't heard from him in a spell. I'm starting to worry if something has happened to the old coot. Alright, so... I mean, I see no reason why not. If he's named, that means he's probably got some good special stats, damn it. Okay, but what I can't do here is, yes, build you any more plots. Because I kind of forgot to bring ASAMs with me. But, that's fine. Because I'm pretty sure, yes, there's a few more boxers floating around in Concord in Jake's workshop. I just kind of forgot to pick them up at one point or another. And while I'm going down in that direction, okay, we've got some business in Concord. So, number one, Branigan, I've done some good work for you. Hey there. Well, hey there. I well, see Craig made it out of his little situation okay enough. The scars are mental, at least. Any word on Pat? Okay, I'm so sorry. He's very dead. And I can prove it, too. I did. I'm sorry, but... He's dead. Oh. Well, I'm real sorry to hear that. He was a good kid. Deserved better. Here's your, uh... Here's your some compensation for your efforts. I appreciate it. Well, now that that's sorted, I'm gonna get myself set up here. If you want to come back in a day or so, I, I may have some work for you. Okay, that's that done. That's XP and also... Did he just give me, like, you know, a leather arm piece? That was weird of you, Branigan. Okay, well, that's going straight down on the floor. However, what he gave me that's way more important is a level up. So, okay, I'm not going to forget this one. I'm going to do it straight away just to make sure I don't, in fact. Okay, you know what? Long overdue, Ninja 2. Let's get it done. But let's instead get to, uh, yes, the real business today. The single most important thing we're going to be doing. Possibly in this entire playthrough or so. Bobby the Ranch Hand. Who the cock are you? Hang about. Sorry, there's just random people in the streets these days. Okay, he doesn't want to speak. He's just saying a hi over and over again. Maybe you work for Brannigan. I don't know. Anyway, as I was just saying. Oh, here we cocky go. Oh, yeah. Here we go. We've got Irma's dress right over here, which is delightful. We've also got the frock coat. That's together with the tricorner hat. That's from a Hancock. And finally, most important of all, it's Maxon's battle coat. 50 cocking damage resistance, though. Um, okay, I'm going to be honest. I kind of forgot it weighed 20. I mean, we're going to be buying it, because why wouldn't we buy it? Okay, the reason we wouldn't buy it is because I actually, um, yes, physically can't afford to buy it, because it's, like, really expensive to make. Okay, I will trade you some drugs for this. There we go, let's call it even, Dylan. Here we go, and Mayor Bob's a fantastic new look. This is going to be my new charisma outfit, marvellous. And the tricorn hat's actually pretty good, because, yeah, that's charisma gear. I may as well, like, you know, just keep that with me. Because, honestly, uh, yeah, that means uh, with that hat, these glasses, and this dress, that's charisma 10. That's pretty bloody good. But the real one is, uh, oh, yeah. I mean, it's just so badass. On the other hand, it does, like, you know, weigh 20. And also, because it's covering, like, you know, all my limbs, it means I can't put, like any armor mods on it whatsoever it can never be pocketed or anything and i can't wear any legendary gear at all so okay i'm not going to use it much but i'm still happy to have it damn it here we go over at jake's place we got ourselves a box of sensors even more sensors i wonder whether he's like you know uh, regrowing these or with these always here like how many boxes are there because that's like you know 68 some sensors so far Okay, that's up to probably a hundred, because the box is, yeah, 20 ago, so, uh, right, that was, that was literally a hundred sensors that I, like, you know, completely ignored this entire time. All right, you unemployed bums, let's get this society sorted out properly, which is, apparently, you think you don't have quite enough water, defense, and nowhere near enough happiness, so, uh, okay, we can now sort that out. We have got room for one gigantic recreational thing right over here. Lovely. Yeah, by the looks of it, you guys could maybe do with a tiny bit more as well. So yeah, how about more of a 
we do a ooh could we maybe fit that in like you know uh, right over here inside this garage space that'd be kind of cool and uh, perfect we'll have one there as well okay you guys also would like yes a tiny bit more in the way of uh, defense that we can do and do not forget, yes, part of the entire reason we came back here was to make sure that we were set up in terms of uh, some caravan coverage. So, uh, one municipal foundation plot right here. I'll tell you what, if you think you don't have enough water, how about we just get ourselves uh, one tiny one next door to. One of you can be water, the other caravans. Okay, it's the following morning and let's see how things are shaping up because... Uh, you guys would appear to have just built, um, a second bar. Like, this is the only entertainment available to you. Going into one of these two identical buildings uh, and drinking booze. Okay, I'm starting to get worried about these people. We may need to stage an intervention at some point. However, some of my buildings are starting to uh, level up a bit. Level 2 and level 2. Better and cocking better. But most important of all, oh, would you look at that... We've got caravan services, so... Okay. As I understand it, this means, yes, elsewhere when I build caravan services, uh, these settlements are going to start being able to, yes, trade resources. Meaning, uh, the giant pile of resources uh, that these guys... Why are you all on the roof? Okay, don't worry about them being on the roof. The giant pile of resources uh, that this society is producing, we could start making use of those... Uh, over in the marina, where there's a lot more growing to do, and uh, also, I will give you well done building this do march. This is a lovely do march. No wonder defense is over a hundred. Okay, and in terms of, yes, what the people in the settlement were just asking me to do, so we've got the children of Atom. That is way down by, yeah, Corvega and Lexington. So, okay, next time we're moseying south, we might look at that, but yeah, by the looks of it, okay. Old Paul's friend Amos is much nearby, just the other side of the vault, in fact. Okay, mosey back out where we started. Brotherhood just seemed to be patrolling today for some reason. Apparently we should be, yeah, pretty damn close by already. Yeah, less than 100 away, just... Be alert. This could potentially be, you know, uh, trouble and whatnot. Then again, if it was that much trouble, the Brotherhood would already be attacking it. So, uh, alright. Can't be anything. Never mind, the Brotherhood's attacking something. There might well be something nasty going on to this bit of the world, and... Okay. If I had to guess, I'd say that's a Molotov, isn't it? Someone just tossed a Molotov, and, uh, that's not what the Brotherhood does. So, yes, indeed. Molotov. Right, that suggests to me, raiders. Alright, keep on keeping on. And, uh, right, I see raiders. I see the shack as well, but no, 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 guys. Hold still. Hold still for one second, just so I can line up a bit of a shot here. 89%, I'll take that and... Shouldn't have taken that as it turns out. There we go, finally cocking got him. Right. Raiders outside the shack. Problematic in a way. Deeply concerning at. No! Okay, you just did a flying jump. That was very impressive. You deserve to not get shot for the moment. And uh, keep on keeping on. That's a good shot right there. There's some idiots of on too. Okay. Says, oh, hello. I've kind of been snuck up on here. Definitely been snuck up on a, a little bit. Do not want to be, you know, wasting my crit on you, buddy. Just get over to... No, no, no. What did I just say? None of that. None of that, please. Down you go. And uh, everybody's dead. Oh. Okay. We've got whimpering. So Amos is... Uh, very, very dead. Also, thank you very much for, you know, the various shotgun shells. I needed them. But when you say whimpering, by any chance, did we just pick up a new puppy? Right. We do have a new puppy. You're a French bulldog or something, I think. Okay, we've investigated the whimpering. We now need to figure out how to help the dog. 
And down we go. Camera is not cooperating. It's currently oh, inside me. Interesting name. Okay. The dog's name is Nuka Cola. Suggesting possibly he wants to be given a Nuka Cola. Okay. Are you willing to be, you know, picked up, buddy? All right. Let's go. And I've now got an injured bulldog in my inventory. Okay, Paul, I've got good news and bad news. Let's start with the bad news. Your friend is so dead. I'm afraid he's dead. Dang. I kept telling him those raiders were camped too close for comfort. Shh. It's okay, girl. Well, let's have a look at our little lady here. Easy Lost there, little lady. lady. Is easy, girl. Gracious, what did they do to you? I know you've got other things to worry about. She's hurt pretty bad, but I can help her through this. Please, leave her with me. Before you go, though, if you happen to have or find some dog food or fresh meat, I know little Cola here would appreciate it. I can now purchase French Bulldogs at level 3 pet stores. Okay, well, I know what I'm investing in going forwards. Okay, in which case, back to Concord, passing Brotherhood Patrol, never going to flipping a hurt, looks like, yes. Only thing on the message board is uh, Fallons, that's absolutely fine. We've been there already, that's magnificent. So, okay, Jake, I am so sorry I've kept you waiting for, like, I don't know, about three weeks or so, I'd say. You got some time now? I could still use your help tuning in the hub. Oh, go on, sure. While I'm passing by, Jake. Just sit yourself down at the vault hub. Keep turning the frequency knob until you get a clear signal. Then just sit back and wait for my return. Okay, won't be long. Okay, Jake. I'm going to be honest, it's been a while since we had this discussion. Where, um... Where precisely are you going? Okay, I'm sure it's all fine. Just sit down. It's all gonna be fine. Also, is that another box of ASAP sensors right next to me? Because it might be, you know. Okay. He just said to wait till we get a clear signal, so... Shoom down. Nothing. Also, who am I trying to contact? Oh, bloody hell, I shouldn't have stopped this quest halfway through. Because now I can't remember why we're trying to contact people. Like, I understand how conceptually radio communications are between settlements. That'd be good. But I'm not sure where Jake's gone. Oh, we've got something. It's a bit... Unclear, but yes, I was tuning down for a bit. Tuning up did nothing, so okay, just keep tuning in the same direction, presumably. Command, this is Golf Romeo One Niner requesting additional support. Over. Command, this is Golf Romeo One Niner requesting reinforcement. Over. Right, we've Command, logged into what's Gomchak. presumably a Brotherhood communication. That's fine. I'm Brotherhood. Hello there. What's your name? What the? Well, who is this? How'd you get on this frequency? You're disrupting gunner communications. Do you know what kind of trouble that can get you in? You better tell me how you're doing this and fast. Okay, so when you say uh, how did I get on this frequency, I appear to just be using like, you know, a basic cam radio. Your communications are just on open frequencies. They're not like encrypted. At all. This was not difficult, but... Okay, I'm going to say sorry. Sorry. Didn't mean to interrupt. Too late for apologies. Civilian gear ain't able to broadcast on this frequency. What kind of hardware are you using? Where are you broadcasting from? I've decided I'm not telling you where I am. I'm not telling you that. Either you tell us now, or we'll just track you down. Don't make this harder than it has to be. I feel like I should just stop saying things until Jake gets back. I feel like I may have accidentally messed up everything. Yes, just turn off the machine, okay? Just turn it off. I gotta go. Given the strength of your signal, you can't be far. Once we're done with our op, shouldn't take too long to find you. Don't go anywhere. I feel like we should definitely go somewhere or so. Don't say still there. I kind of want to say still there because I feel like I definitely should not just be speaking to this guy. You know, asking him if he's having a nice day, what the weather's like, etc, etc. Slick! I got back as fast as I could. 
Okay, so I've messed up everything and antagonized the gunners and also they're nearby and also they're coming this way. So, um, yeah, I've messed up everything, but really it wasn't my fault. It was all an accident. What's the matter? That radio call you just had, that's what's the matter. I overheard the whole thing on my pip boy The hub's broadcast frequency. It must be similar to the one the gunners use. Or at least close enough to cause disruptions. Oh, this is not good. We really don't want the gunners' attention on us. And we definitely don't want them sniffing around the comm hub. This is... not good. Why are you worried? I'm sure you've already had a few encounters with the gunners. They're definitely one of the most dangerous groups out there. If they can find a reason to mess with you, they'll do it. By broadcasting on their comm frequency, we've probably piqued their curiosity. They'll want to know what kind of tech we're using. They may even try and take it. I don't think we can afford to let the gunners come here. Okay, bare minimum, a yes, they could cause trouble for our nearby civilians. So, any chance we could, like, okay. I'm going to stop putting forward ideas. I'm just going to ask Jake what to do. I've messed things up enough today. What do we do now? I don't know. Maybe I could talk to him. Convince him to leave us alone. Hold on. I think I could find where they're radioing from. All right. Looks like they were somewhere northeast of Olivia. Well, guess I should go check it out. Try to find these gunners, and see if I could reason with them. Although, kinda nervous. I'm used to dealing with raiders and your typical wasteland critters. But gunners? They're different. They're organized. Okay, so uh, yes, in this mod I'm guessing gunners are more than just a people who shoot you on sight, but happen to have, you know, slightly better weapons than other people you run into. Can you tell me about them? The gunners, they're... well, they're mercs. But not really. I mean, they do take contracts, and they're good at their job, but they don't really behave like typical mercenaries. They're more like a military group. Only I couldn't tell you who or what they're fighting for. They've been making waves recently around the Commonwealth, causing a lot of trouble for a lot of people. Okay, no trouble. We could go take care of this, Jake. It's gonna be fine. Don't worry. I've got your back. You'll help? <sighs> Thanks. I feel better already. Here, let me update your map. There. The gunners were somewhere near one of those markers. But I don't know which one for sure. We'll have to check each of them. All right, lead on and I'll follow. Let's see if we can talk these gunners into leaving us alone. I feel like we definitely, definitely can't. This is not going to go well. So okay, we're back on the main plot, and by the looks of it, yes, there are various locations that we might be able to find the gunners, though. Okay, multiple locations might also mean, yeah, data we can gather here might let us triangulate the real location. But how about, given, yes, things are apparently about to get real between me and the gunners, we call it apart there and wrap up on a bit of a cliffhanger. Next time, we're heading to the northeast and we're tracking these gunners down, because... Okay, feels to me like it's time for the main cocking plot. There's been a lot of whispering about the gunners, uh, but now it's finally time for us to go and confront them. And uh, if I had to guess, it is not going to cocky go well. So uh, hopefully uh, you join me next time uh, for that. But in the meantime, I've been John. This has been many a true nerd. And this has been Fallout 4. Thank you very much and goodbye. Ah, we have got a gate key here, and then we have got ourselves- I've made a mistake, I've made a mistake, I've made a mistake, I've made a mistake! This is gonna take all of my skill and cunning as a hunter to sort out- DIE YOU MOVING BASTARDS! DIE! DIE! Go, go away. Go away, nobody likes you. That was a good idea till it wasn't.